And now this missing 16-year-old pregnant high school student's body was never found. Her uncle, however, Jonathan Quiles, was charged with her murder. Tonight, new details have been revealed in Ayanna Sawyer's murder investigation. Investigators have told us about a conversation between Jonathan Quiles and another person that provides clues as to why he was charged with Sawyer's murder. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris. She's been following this case since the teen disappeared December of 2018. Janice, what was said during this discussion? There was a lot that was said, Joy. It's a very disturbing discussion with Quiles rambling about a girl who might be pregnant by him and how he can't lose his family if she has the baby. The discussion suggests that he is talking about his pregnant niece, Ayanna Sawyer. Terry Parker High School student Ayanna Sawyer went missing after leaving school on December 19th, 2018. Her uncle, Jonathan Quiles, was charged with her murder, though her body was never found. But police have found dozens of pieces of possible evidence. A photo of Quiles holding a gun, the inside of a car with DNA evidence and a gun and bullets. This JSO incident report suggests Quiles practically confessed to killing the teen. The only thing missing is her name. Tuesday, January 8th, 2019, police spoke with a man who said Jonathan called him on the 19th or 20th of December 2018 and sounded very frantic, rambling about how the girl might be pregnant and he can't lose his family if she has the baby and that he had to get rid of the body. Jonathan later said, I know what to do. An hour later, Keyless called the man back and said, it's done. I can finally breathe easy. This is Keyless in jail just moments after he was told he would be charged with murder for Sawyer's death. The same day, Keyless talked about getting someone pregnant. Keyless admitted he had talked to someone into running away with them because he believed she was pregnant with his baby. She went to his job, Ace Pick Apart. He brought her into the back of the property where no customers were allowed to be. He tried to strangle her but couldn't stomach it. The report indicates that Keyless said he shot her in the chest, put her body in a dumpster, which was picked up the same day and removed from the property. During the conversation, Keila says that he threw her cell phone into the Trout River. Ayana's name is never said, but he has only been charged with her murder and no one else. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.